What is up guys? Welcome back to Way of the Hunter. Welcome back to part two of our early access series. So last time we went out, we did the first couple missions. We hunted some badgers. We have yet to hunt any uh, deer yet. Basically, I've, I'm where I left off, but I did do a couple of the missions, but I want to not spoil those for you because they're really cool. I want you guys to go through that on your own. So I've left that out of part two. I do have another gun now. I've got the 243. We can go out and do a deer hunt with the 243. Uh, still haven't seen any big game animals. I did go out last night and uh, I want to show you guys on the map here I went out I went on a little bit of a an excursion and this took about I would say Half an hour walking up there. I didn't see any animals um, But oh my gosh, I can't wait to get into this hunt because I, I you guys need to see just how immersive and awesome this game is. This took me like, yeah, 20 minutes, 30 minutes just to just to follow the river. What I wanna do today, I wanna follow this river further and show you guys some of the amazing scenery and just how amazing this game looks and feels. And I wanna continue, look how far this, this goes though. I wanna continue going up. Look how far we can follow that river and uh, the trail up this way. And th the map is absolutely massive uh, i want to maybe get that outpost i want to check out these points of interest if i remember to along the way so we don't have anything bigger than the 243 today but that's fine if we see some moose or something we can admire them um, but today we're not gonna be hunting we're not gonna be shooting anything bigger than maybe a mule deer or a whitetail or something like that but without further ado guys let's go out and let's get on this hunt I want to talk a little bit more about the hunter sense thing like the hunter sense basically like if i was to pull out my 243 i got the 3030 with us today too if we see some badgers or some red foxes we do have the 3030 for that um but we got the 243 basically the way the hunter sense thing works and you can see down below you can toggle your objectives to show up on the screen right um you can toggle your hunter sense and basically when you toggle that hunter sense on it's kind of like red dead redemption 2 if you've played that you can see the tracks you can see any animal calls if there are any and basically also if you ads right you start looking down the sights and the other thing with it is if i pull out my binoculars i can use it when i'm looking through my binos and that's how you get the sight spotting info right so if i'm looking through i see some animals i'll hit q and that's how i'll get that spotting info if i spot them with the hunter sense going and it's really really cool and we'll see more of that on this hunt for sure but yeah i am very excited we're not taking the vehicle we're just gonna hoof it on foot down to the river we're gonna follow the river up northwest up through the mountains through the valleys uh and I, you guys got to see uh, what I saw yesterday, and I'm very, very excited to get into it with you guys. I think that, yeah, red fox alerted. Oh, I've got my hunter sense going still. I forgot I had it on. So because I had the hunter sense going, let me duck. I'm still getting used to that duck button. It's C. So there is a red fox over there somewhere. All right, let's get a move on. It's starting to get a little bit brighter. We got some nasty weather. Hopefully it's going to clear up a little bit for us. This is the first time I've actually seen rain. And this is actually the first time I've seen uh, morning. Quite dusky under the uh, layer of clouds. Also, another thing I want to talk about with you guys, that marker right there that's over there, that's from the last time I played. So I actually closed the game. This is from yesterday, and that marker is still there. Basically, anything that you do in your game, like if I was to log out right here, you could go out, walk two miles from the nearest outpost, and then log out. The game actually remembers where you logged out, and you pick up where you left off. What do we have right here? That looks like a badger. An adult. Two-star male. Spooked it. So basically what you're doing as far as like trying to get your populations to have the best genetics possible, like if I see a mature uh, whitetail and it's got like a one or two star, I know that animal has like terrible genetics. We're going to take that off the map, right? So that's how that works. But I didn't see in the, in the spotting analysis there where it showed the age of the animal. Maybe I just missed it. But anyways, so yeah, you can log out anywhere the game remembers. Uh, I've heard that if you shoot an animal and it's injured and it doesn't die, and you log out, the next time you log in, it's still there. It's it, it, like the game basically remembers everything from the time when you turn off the game. If you turn off the game, it basically remembers everything that's happening and everything stays the same. You don't lose anything. So as you can hear, another thing that I've noticed is once you get close to the rivers here, the flowing rivers, they are quite loud. I might have to turn the game volume down a bit, but I want you guys to see how cool is that. And I've noticed that that really does, it really does add to the immersion. Um, the water is very loud as you get close to the river. 
as you start to get out here, like we're working our way down the river here, we're kind of starting to get out into uncharted territory, right? And we're making our way away from the outposts, just into kind of unknown territory. And there really is this like feeling of immersion. You really get this immersive experience. And I was feeling it last night and uh, Scarecrow and I were chatting and uh, I just kept bringing it up because like, and I'm starting to get that feeling now. You really get this feeling that's like almost like that real life feeling like when you're out exploring, you know, somewhere that you've never been before and you start to get away from, uh, you know, landmarks and things that you know of and just kind of, you just get out into the, the unknown outdoors. You really kind of get that feeling in this game. Like I could turn right now and like go up into these trees. Who knows what I would see, right? There might be moose up in there or something. I could make my way over there. Who knows what the heck would be in there? It's like all thick forest. Like, it's so cool. And this, as this kind of winds through, um, we, we're gonna get into like a valley and it's so cool. Look at the water splashing up on the rocks as it flows down the river there. And you'll see how, how much louder it gets as you get close. It's so cool. <laughs> Look at this. How cool is that? And like, I'm on like medium high settings right now. And it's like breathtaking. So hopefully the sun's gonna come out soon. And we'll get some sunlight. It's a little bit overcast right now. It's still morning. But yeah, how cool is that, right? Absolutely gorgeous. That, uh, look at that effect with that rock, that rock in the middle of the, of the river there. Water hitting up against it and splashing up. I love that. It's such a nice touch. So yeah, man, this is it. This is this is gonna be the video of the first ever deer that we will ever shoot in Way of the Hunter. And that's gonna be our goal for this hunt, you guys, is to take down our first deer, whether it be a mule deer or a whitetail. We might get our first red fox. Uh, up to this point, I have only shot badgers and pheasants. Um, and the pheasants are really cool, and that will be, uh, if not in this video, we'll be looking at those in a future video for sure. Oh, 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 we've had deer. Did I spook them? A mature male was out there. I must have spooked them. Yeah, I got too close. Um, that's another thing that I've heard is that, uh, you know, it's very realistic. You can't get really close to animals without them spooking. Right? Just like in real life. They will spook if they hear something. So we've got to make sure we're not getting impatient and getting ahead of ourselves. I've got to make sure I'm not running. The other thing I'm not sure of is after animals spook, do they turn around and kind of come back? Or, you know, what their behavior is kind of like in that situation after after the flea state kind of wears off. So that's something we're gonna be kind of learning as we go. Look at this, we've got a deer stand right here as well. Really cool spot for a deer stand. So that was my first kind of look at some deer up here. Those were mule deer as well. We'll keep moving. So at this point, we are, we really are out in the middle of nowhere and it really feels that way. Like I said, like the immersion is a thing. And we're starting to make our way a little bit uphill, it looks like. And I'm just keeping lookout, uh, basically as far as I can see. To make sure that I'm not going to spook any, any potential deer up here. Or maybe even moose. I don't know where the moose are on the map. I haven't seen one yet. I would love to see one. But like... We are just completely just kind of out in the middle of nowhere at this point. <laughs> and uh, you can feel it, man. It's cool. Okay, so at this point, this is almost as far as I went. So we're actually getting up to a point of interest here. And I'm not sure what it is, but I'm actually... I've, I missed that one. But I'm going to check out whatever that is. It's right on the trail. And then... We will decide which way. I think I want to go up this way. Um, but there are outposts, right? So we've got the outposts. I believe that's what that is. And then there's also campsites. So some of these question marks, I believe, will be the actual campsites, not the outposts themselves. I believe that's what those are. So that's really cool. And here we are. Like, look how cool this is. We're getting like, into, like, this little valley with these, like, embankments on each side. And we're just right in the middle of nowhere. And it is awesome. It feels so cool. I love the sound of the water. I love that it's loud. 
in real life, the water would be loud. A very immersive feeling. I know I keep saying that word, but that's the word of the day, man. Look at this waterfall. How cool is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. There were deer down there. Oh. Young female. Oh, man. They were down at the bottom of that waterfall. There was no way I could have seen them. Wow. Look at these waterfalls, you guys. Look at this. And I bet there's actually a way up there, too. Oh, yeah, you could definitely go up in there. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we need those, uh, the 10 times binos. I don't know what that was. That might have been a whitetail up there. Wow. Oh, my God. So real quick, guys, I want to show you on the map here. So this is where uh, Pindarosa Falls was. You can see that you can actually definitely get up there. And look how far back that actually goes. <laughs> Like, the size of this map is insane. Let's get rid of that. Um, it's just crazy. So, right now, that was actually, that was actually the way we are gonna go, actually, now that I'm looking at it a little bit closer. I wonder if there's a way, because I wanted to go up here. I want to check out this, uh, where the river opens up. I really want to see that area. I've actually started going south, so... I wonder if there's a way up there. Yeah, it looks like there's a path right here that goes up. So I'm actually going to... I'm going to take a hard right. And we're actually going to go up the path. We'll work our way up the river this way. I think it's going to be really interesting up there. Hopefully we'll get a look at our first deer uh, that aren't spooking. <laughs> Alright, so we're on the trail. We're making our way down. We're going to be back down to the water shortly. But I want to show you guys this cliff. So where this trail is right now, I want to show you. It just kind of came out of the woods. I made my way up the mountain and I'm at this like cliff now at this part of the trail and I just wanted you guys to see the scenery. You can see the river down below where we came up and uh, look at the view. Now I've got my view distance set to very high. Uh, it's not even on ultra so you can actually turn it up one more than that and just see for miles. Incredible stuff. Absolutely, absolutely breathtaking. Look at this. What are we coming up to here. Wait, is that a campsite? Okay, we got a campsite. Look at this, though. This is a really cool area. Okay, this is our first campsite. Oh, yeah, let's go. Now, can I access my storage here, I wonder? How do I get in there? <laughs> Just like that. Look at this. Campsite. Camp principles. Camp serve as a place for changing time freely in the world as well as checkpoints for fast travel. Okay. We're not going to be able to access the shop or anything like that here. Which is fair enough. You know, realistically, that wouldn't be a thing. So, that's cool though. We can fast travel here. And uh, we can rest here if we want to as well. I like it. Very cool. Alright, let's keep going up towards the river. And we're actually getting pretty close to where the river's going to open up. I'm going to mark that. I'm going to get rid of this mark. And I'm going to put one here. Alright, so we've reached where the river is going to open up here. There's a bridge here. And I'm just very carefully glassing the area. Making sure that if we've got deer down here, we're not going to spook them. I'm going to get onto this bridge and look across. My hope is that we're going to have some, some deer drinking from the river out, out here. That would be perfect. And then we can take one down. We're going to taxidermize our first deer. We're going to keep it forever. Uh, it'll be my first taxidermy. As well as my first deer ever. Wow. That sound came in quick. Holy. <laughs> Whoa. Everything just got noisy all at once. Oh. Whoa. There's a black bear up there. A mature female. Whoa, it's the first bear I've seen. Now, another thing that I'm not, I'm not sure of is, I wonder if the, the bears get aggressive. I don't know if that's a thing. I have no idea. I have no idea what animals do go aggressive, if any of them. I'm completely not in the know as far as that goes. But that's our first black bear. And I think I spooked her up there because she is calm now. She was nervous, though. Look at her. The animation for her looks really nice. 
Looks realistic. I like that. So that's a mature female. Now, I should mention, it is Mule Deer drink time right now. They started drinking at 9 a.m. So we do have Mule Deer drinking at this time. And uh, just as I said that, I would think that those would be Mule Deer. Wow, perfect. Okay. We've got our first calm and drinking herd of Mule Deer. So that is what we're going to hone in on. That's going to be our target herd right there. And how far away were they? So that's about 500 meters away. Very cool. I'm just going to sneak up, I think, from this side of the water. And uh, we'll get a little bit closer and see if we can take one down. Hopefully we've got a good male in there. But pretty much for my first deer, I'm good with any male. I would like to take a male over a doe, obviously. But hopefully we can get maybe like a two or three star for our first. That would be amazing. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we got elk over there. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't shoot them. I don't have anything big enough to shoot them, but we can look at them and we can admire their beauty. We've got a bull in there. My first look at some elk. Oh my gosh. I wish I had the 10 times binos, you guys. I apologize. I could have bought them, but it's okay. It's all right. So Hunter sets. Let's see what we got. We got a one. We've got a one-star mature. So that is basically a good example of a male that we would want to shoot, right? We would want to shoot anything that's old and only has like one star. That thing's got terrible genetics. And you can actually see. What's this? This is wait. Adult. Okay, so we've got an adult one star. This is probably a younger one, I'm guessing, because it's. Oh no, it's mature. Okay, I was thinking because the coat is a lighter color it might be a younger male but that's not the case mature female wait that's a female okay there is the male right there one star adult one star so that's a one star we've got a whole bunch of one star males so that's a pretty weak genetic herd that's pretty much, you know, you would pretty much want to shoot, I think, all of the males in that herd. Um, but the thing with the way that this is all set up, right, you don't want to shoot the females. If you shoot the females, you're going to eventually um, diminish your population, right? You need to keep those females so they can breed new males, right? So there's pretty much, I think, the way that I've understood it, I don't think there's really ever any reason why you would really shoot the females. What you want to do is shoot the, the males with the poor genetics keep the ones with the good genetics but that is amazing our first look at some elk so how far away i'm gonna crouch i don't think they're too much further away maybe like 300 meters in this direction should be able to see them soon just over here no i hope i didn't spook them i might have spooked them you guys Gosh, if they spooked, man. These animals spook very easily if these guys spooked. I was at least... I think they were right over there. Or maybe they're just to the right there. I think what I might do is actually go to the other side. And work our way along that way. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Calm. Oh my gosh. How am I this close without spooking? It's a one star male. So, hang on. Let's go prone. I've got mule deer right here in front of me. I don't know how these guys didn't spook. But they're right in front. I don't know how much closer I can get even prone without spooking them, but I'm going to see if I can get a look. They are right in front of me. Oh my gosh. Okay. I wasn't expecting to do this for my first deer, but we're going to see how close we can get. Now, I was told by other content creators that you cannot get close to animals in this game. Like, if you're within like 100 meters, like we're about 90 meters away from that male right now. 
I don't see this happening without them spooking, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. I can't, just can't believe that guy was calm. I thought he was about to spook for sure. I don't even want to stand up because, or sit up even. Right there. Can't quite see him from prone, but if I go a little bit further, I might be able to. He's still there. I wonder if he's by himself. Okay. Wow, everything quieted down there. Not sure why. But it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. It's gonna. Add, it's adding to the suspense of the moment. Oh, there it is. It's back. I don't know what that sound was. It sounded like a branch breaking to my left. Sheesh. I am just barely moving at the moment. Oh my gosh, if I can take down my first male deer, my first deer ever in Way the Hunter, if I can do it from like, he's right there. I wonder if I can shoot from prone. But. Young male, one star. He might just be alone. He's fully calm and he's like 75 meters away. I am so close to this guy. He's still calm. There's more. There's more of them. He's moving so much. I got him broadside though. I want to see what else is there. There is a herd. Let's see. I'm gonna get a little bit greedy here. They're calm. Wow. Wow. Look at them. Did you guys see the ear the ear the ear flapping there? Oh wow. Look at the ear flapping. Holy. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. In gaming. Look at the ear flapping. Oh my gosh. They're so beautiful. Calm. I'm only like 68 meters away. Okay, I want it. Let's get it. Let's get a male. Let's get a male. Right on this mound here. Is that a male? That's our male right there. That's our guy. Okay, zero it for fifty. <laughs> no way. <sighs> Did he die? <laughs> I have chills running up and down my entire body from that. Oh, chills. The chills are not stopping. Let's go see what happened. I think it was a perfect shot. I think it was a perfect shot. I didn't even see where they fled. I didn't see if there was another male in there or anything. Blood. Okay, he didn't go straight down. But he's gotta be close. Air bubbles. Time to expire slow. Medium amount of blood. Pink. Air bubbles. Okay. Now, how do we track that? The hunter sense, I imagine? This is my first time tracking any blood. He couldn't have gone far. Wait, it's right this way. Oh, he's gonna be down here. Look at this. Oh. Oh, this is so cool, you guys. Oh, this is so good. He couldn't have gone too far. Look at the different blood spatters and the different shapes of the blood. I mean, he must have died from that. The blood's getting smaller. I mean, he definitely would have gone down from that. Here we go. 
Okay, I see more blood. Continued up through this way. I think I see him. I see him. <laughs> Our first deer ever. In Way of the Hunter, and we got so close to him. I didn't even think it was possible to get that close. We were about, I think, 68 away. 68 meters. Look at this. Just a little buck. Wow. Is he still alive? I don't know if he's still alive or what's going on there. Maybe that's just the graphics. I, uh, I don't know if they usually shake like that. It's so strange looking. It's almost eerie. I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot him again. I think we'll just, we're, we have the option to claim it, so let's just claim it. But look at this little rack. Little forks. Little, uh, just a little young, young male, one star deer. How beautiful does it look though? I love that it's got the outline, but the outline isn't like super thick. Like it doesn't take away anything from the, the graphics of the deer. The textures are so nice. That is just gorgeous. Like that looks so realistic. Wow. <sighs> Stunning. <gasps> he stopped moving. He stopped moving. He was still alive. Whoa, I had no idea that they had that animation in the game. Wow, let's claim him. Look what we got, we got the lungs, look at this. Top of the lungs. And we got both. I didn't miss that artery by much, look at the artery. That's so cool. And uh, unlike the badgers, we noticed with the badgers you couldn't see any of these other organs, but you can see everything. You can see the intestines, the stomach, the liver, both lungs, the heart. We got arteries through there. Wow. We went right through the rib cage, right through a rib. And uh, perfect amount of hit energy, about 3,000 there, right where we want to be. You guys can't see that because my camera's in the way. I apologize for that. But basically it shows you, I'll show you up top, like it'll give you, it'll show you where the integrity lies for them. Like let's say up here, if, if, for moose, it'll be like up higher. So you'll have like a range, say from there and there. And then it gives you a little mark here where your hit energy landed, and that'll kind of show you if you were in the right spot for the hit energy, right? If you used the right uh, ammunition for that animal. And we're perfect. We're like right in the middle there for this guy. And I apologize for the camera being in the way, you guys. Um, but yeah, so there's that. That's our first ever deer. 243, took it down to 243. 64 meters. We got to within 64 meters of this guy. My gosh, that couldn't have gone better for our first ever deer in way of the hunter uh he's a one star but yeah i mean i think that's gonna do it for this video you guys so epic so happy the way that that ended up going i hope you guys enjoyed this video lots more way of the hunter content coming for you guys hope you're excited for that and uh part three will be coming soon if you didn't see part one the first impressions video i'll link that down below uh in the description thank you guys so much for watching drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it let me know down in the comments are you enjoying the way of the hunter content are you excited for way of the hunter what do you want to see me hunt what do you want to see me do let me know anything you want to say down in the comments i'm all ears i'll be reading every single comment i appreciate you guys thank you guys so much thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers and as always i will see you guys in the next one